Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 16, the exact model is a Dell Inspiron 16 5620 model. The regulatory model is a P117F model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan only or you can clean up the fan and heating and repaste your CPU. If yours is sounding like a jet engine or it's like overheating, it's slowing down or it's getting random shutdown because of the overheating, then you might want to do your cleaning and repacing once every year, depending how many hours a day you use it. If you're using it once or one hour or two hours a day, you want to do it every couple of years. But if you're using it six hours a day or five hours a day, then you want to, might want to do it every 11 to 12 months. By doing a cleaning and repacing, you're not going to change anything inside the system or any configuration must be done. It's simply just cleaning, power it on, and you're set to go. The files, everything will be the same way. I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step how to do it. This one is a brand new one. All right. So first thing first, you want to power off. Make sure you power off. Don't put on a standby or anything like that. You want to get yourself a workshop towel. One sheet to put it right underneath to not scratch it. And then you will need another sheet. Right up. This video will be two, two step, one for the cleaning to the fan and to, if you want to continue, you can see how you can clean up the thermal paste. First thing first, we need a good a screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys to grab the iFix screwdriver set. From this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, Grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable for opening cases and covers. Uh, tweezers, straight or curved tweezers are good to have. Uh, a spatula, a plastic one. A very important one, a thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX4. You can use an Arctic MX6. Or if you want to go over the board and get the best, get the thermal grizzly. And thermal paste, these are one of the best thermal paste out there. Right, and I'll leave the link for all these things that I use so you can get yours. And very important one is an alcohol, isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol, 99% plus, a workshop towel. And if you want to clean the fan, get yourself a toothbrush. A used or new toothbrush is good to clean the fans between the fans and the dust mesh. I hope I am not missing anything else, so let's get it started. First thing first is power it off. Move it upside down, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna remove all the screws except the two screws, one in the, each corner by the back by the hinges. So we're gonna leave these two at the for the end. We're gonna remove the back mid side and the front row. And all these screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and help you guys out, you can support the channel. By clicking the like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment areas. Now that we remove all the screws except these two corners, and the reason for these two corner screws that we left for the end is because the screws have a little C-lock on them. That means the C-lock will prevent the screw coming out, but also it helps you to separate the bottom cover from the palm rest. So that's the reason for it. So as soon as I start rotating this, you're gonna see a gap opening right in there. And that's the gap that we're gonna, we're gonna rotate until we hear that click sound, right? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm not a left-handed, so I will do it like this. And you see that gap opening. Once you see that gap opening, now what you wanna do, you wanna grab yourself an opening tool, and you want to stick about two or three millimeters inside and you just want to twist it, peel it off like this. Don't stick the whole guitar pick in there, just two or three millimeters, that's enough. Do the whole side. Do the front end. Do the left or right side, doesn't matter. There we go. Once you did the sides, the front, you're gonna hear a little tension in on the case because there's a hook in the middle. So you wanna grab from both sides and you just wanna yank it up and it will release the hook that grabs it from right in here, this rod thing right in here. 
And you can take this plastic outside, we use a toothbrush and clean it up, dust it out. And down here, we're gonna see the whole inside battery, RAM, hard drive, fan, and the heatsink. First thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery. But to disconnect the battery, you wanna pull this jack backwards. So I'm gonna put my fingers right at the side of the jack, on this side too. And I'm gonna pull the jack back straight and the jack will get disconnected. Now, what do you wanna do? We, first, we're gonna show you guys how to remove the fan. To remove the fan, first, you wanna disconnect the fan cable connector. Don't yank on this cable. I see so many people yanking on this cable. It's a fragile cable. Put your fingernails or tweezers on the side of the jack and push it back. And that's the proper way of removing it. Once you disconnected the fan, remove the screw beside the fan and the screw right on the other side of the fan. There's two screws on it. Once you remove these two screws, you can just grab the fan, slide it out, take it outside, and blow some air, clean it up nicely, and that's it. There's not, nothing else you need to do here. The fan, the casing is patched in, and you don't need to open it. Just blow some air through here, gaps, and that's it. And that's as far as you do for the fan cleaning, and you can even clean the heatsink right through here without removing the heat pipe. But if you want to replace your thermal pipe, which I highly recommend you guys to do, then you want to continue watching. What you want to do, you want to remove one, two, three, four screws on the heat sink. These screws do have a little plastic C-lock on the other side. So pretty much you just want to rotate them. And then you hear a tiny click that you can't, doesn't do anything else. And then you don't want to grab it from here. You want to grab it closest to the CPU and you just want to lift it up, bring it up. And there we go. There's a thermal pad in here. This is a three, three millimeter thermal pad and 0.5 millimeter thermal pads. Those are there for the power management. Now, what you want to do down here, you want to grab a little sheet of the workshop towel and you want to put alcohol right on the workshop and then you just want to wipe over the CPU. The alcohol is not conducting, so you nicely clean it up and clean up the thermal paste right in here. You don't need to replace the thermal pads. It's absolutely not necessary to replace the thermal pads. All right, once you clean it up nicely. Now, people are like, why there's a two crystal die in here? This is a CPU die, and this is something called a PCH chip. In the, some models, you can find the PCS chip separated from here on a different location on the board. On some models, they bring it, they include it on the same chip as the CPU, which it can be saving money by using the same heat sink to pull it down. So. I'm gonna grab a thermal paste. I'm gonna put a tiny line on the main die. And one drop right on the secondary die. Okay, these are not conductive, thermal pastes are not conductive, so be, uh, don't be too scared that it's gonna go, it's just gonna spread around, it's not gonna go over the board. Don't forget to clean up the heatsink if yours is dirty. Once it's done, bring the heatsink, make sure the screw holds match. Once you put it down, don't lift it up again, leave it there, and you wanna cross screw them. One, two, three, four, or doesn't matter how you start, but you always cross screw them. So stop on one corner, do the opposite side. So when you cross screw them, it will spread the thermal paste evenly across the CPU crystal die. So plug in the fan, plug in, slide in the jack for the fan. Put the two screws for the fan that you remove. Once you have that one done, yeah, everything is ready. Just wanna Grab the jack, it's straight inside the connector. Don't put it sideways, make sure it goes in it's straight in there. And snugly right in the place. Once it's in there, you wanna grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push the corners, make sure you don't nice click sounds on the sides. Don't press on the corners. What you wanna do, you wanna tighten up the screw. 
as soon as you tighten up, it's pulling the cover to itself. If you see any gaps opening like that, you just want to push it down and it will snap in place. I'm pressing the middle here little slowly and it will grab that hook in the middle. And the left side too. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws all over the place. And I will turn on the laptop so you guys can see that it powers on. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up this screw and power on the laptop. So there we go, we got a screen and it's loading the windows. And we are in business. And that should cover up today's video.